so my last video kind of kind of left me unsatisfied mainly because you know nothing broke you know i mean I, I i did chew up the teeth on these or the uh the cutters on this thing but you know they're not broken they're still in one piece and i mean if i'm being honest there, there's a good chance that the fellow who, who demonstrates these things cutting wrenches he could have superhuman strength so I, I, we, we, we got to, you know, either cut the wrench or destroy the pliers, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, one, of my, my, one of my ideas was to, like, get a vise, not this one, but, like, a bigger vise, and, and stick them in there, and then just tighten the vise down in, until they explode it. Problem with that is, is that I got to be reefing on this handle while these things are about ready to pop, and, and I'm not into emergency room visits, if you know what I'm saying. So it, it dawned on me that I have this here hydraulic hose press in the back of my van. Um, it's got a little porta pack or an inner pack, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, air over hydraulic pump. It hooks up with the hose, and I could go hide behind something while I pump this up and, and uh, make make that wrench explode, or, or you know, cut the wrench in half. You never know. All right, so so I made some space in here. We'll take this, put it over there, and get some shielding set up, and then we'll we'll just test it until until something dies. You know. All right, so here's the setup. Again, hydraulic hose press. Uh, I, I, I'm guessing this thing's worth uh, at least a couple of ton, more than I could do, you know. And uh, we got some shims set up here to maximize the stroke, and uh, it's just in there loosely, as you can see. So I could be back here on the other side of my safety shield, which is just some really, really thick foam. I will be cowering over here. Uh, sorry about the air sound. My pilot valve uh, leaks on my compressor, and uh, yeah. Let's see if that'll do it. All right, here we go. Let's see. So far, so good. We ran out of stroke. All right, well, I definitely bent the shit out of them. More rust leaking out of the uh, hinge there because they no longer completely close. Uh, the wrench is actually still holding up pretty good. So let me adjust my setup so we get a little more stroke. All right, so we placed the shims with a big old socket. Um, we're, we're, uh, we're holding good there. So let me reinstall the blast shield and, and, and we'll get We'll get back to the destruction. Step number two. What was that? All right, well, something gave up. I heard a ping. The handles are completely closed. Uh, maxed. Oh yeah. All right. Let's release the pressure and see if there's anything left of these things. All right. So you can see. I don't know if you can see that focus. All right there. The hinge is cracked. I kind of still want to see them explode. So let's try one more try. It's seven. Mm. Uh, at this point, we're just bending them more. So uh, I don't know if we're going to get to break these today. One more idea. Stick the wrench in the back of it. Put even more, more pressure on it. Final attempt. Oh. It's not promising. Now 
Nah, the wrench just popped out. All right, well, I mean, I gotta be honest with you. I was hoping for an explosion and not just a ping, but I mean, we got what we got. The wrench uh, held up fine, sort of a couple of scratches. It's uh, it's a decent shape. Uh, the pliers, they're uh, yeah, they're they're pretty much done. I really wanted them to explode, guys, but uh, yeah, you get what you get. So um, I think we've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt. But those pliers cannot cut a wrench in half, even if the person has super human grip strength. So, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, finally put these fucking things to rest. I could, I could throw them in the trash can and clean up all the garbage. And, uh, yeah, we're done with them. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, more of my horse shit. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.